Joey. Welcome to Channel Progress. Are you excited to get started now? Yeah, definitely. Listen, uh, buzzing to be out here and uh, buzzing to get down. So flying out tomorrow with the lads and uh, can't wait to get cracking. How does the move come about? Ah, this is just a sort of a whole short period of time, I suppose, just to make contact with the football club. I was moving back home with my family, my wife and babies, so uh, it was just a logical thing. I was using support channel grow, so it seems great, made a couple of contacts and whatever, just ran away and uh, that was it. And luckily it's got over the line now. What's not about you to come to Tavern? Ah, yeah, as I said, I was a channel grow was fine in Dublin, so obviously I was moving back here and uh, I wanted to keep on playing, kept it going again, this was the place to be. What do you know about the, the current forward scene under Stephen Bradley? Have you watched him play in the last year or so? Yeah, yeah. No, I think the games uh, last season was at games. Obviously, came up here watching games, so um, I've been watching a few times. Yeah. And you can play anywhere in the back four or midfield. Has Stephen Bradley talked to you about a specific position? No, not really. To be honest, it was, just, uh, it was about just getting, the, getting all the line, really, and becoming part of the squad. Obviously, over the next period of time, I've got a good bank of training then before the season starts. I'm sure we'll speak to the manager. And getting uh, get to know the working with the players, stuff like that, you know, see how it plays out. And it's a fairly young squad here. Does Stephen feel that you have a lot of experience? Yeah, well, you bring, I definitely bring the age up, all right, yeah. So uh, I probably make the average age of the squad up about uh, six or seven years. So, nah, listen, it's, I do the thing I have. I've been around the world, you know, and I've had good experience of uh, playing at certain levels, I suppose. So uh, hopefully, I can, the way I go about stuff and training and off the pitch as well as on the pitch, hopefully. Some of the lads can, uh, the younger lads can learn something from you, I suppose, and work with, uh, work with me and stuff like that, you know. You spent five years at West Ham. How do you look back on your time there? Yeah, it's fantastic, uh, fantastic start. The last year, I suppose, uh, didn't work out for me, really, you know, and uh, that's what happens, I suppose. You have a manager that comes in that is, uh, yeah, interesting. So, that was it. And last year, you spent a couple of months at your old club, Bolton, uh, to work on your fitness. How are you feeling now in terms of putting your injuries behind you? Yeah, definitely. Listen, I was up there, uh, had, still had contacts at the football club, as I said, it was, that's where I started. So uh, I was up there just doing a bit. Listen, I think I'm ready to go, you know, but it's, uh, it's been a while since I've played matches. So, as I said, hopefully I can get out to Portugal, so get a good bit of training then before the season starts and take it then game by game. Were you ever close to uh, re signing for Bolton? Has there been interest from other clubs since? No, it wasn't, it wasn't really. It was more of a friend and just a couple of contacts that I had up there and I was able to use the facility. I still have a, a place up there, you know, so it was. Uh, it was just a nice fit really at the time of, of trying to get me fit and uh, it was great to be up there in the in the training ground and meeting some uh, faces I hadn't seen in a long time, you know. So. It's nearly two years since you kicked the ball in anger. How eager are you to get back in the pitch? Yeah, definitely. As I said, I've played a couple of games in between that, I've caught Bolton and stuff like that, but competitively, yeah, where it's, uh, it's what it's all about. And I've put in uh, a lot of hours into getting to this situation, you know, and uh, so as I said, it was a uh, healthy. It's come to the start of the season. Uh, you won five caps for Ireland, but I think you felt it should have been a lot more. Were you overlooked, especially during the Chapatoni year? Yeah, I don't know what I, I felt it should have been more. Listen, I suppose I had injuries at times, and I was out of the team, out of the squad, and then all our players were in the squad doing well, I suppose. But listen, it was, it was an honour to play, you know. Probably one of the best members of football was my debut, you know. So it was a night I didn't have to get in the family and never forget. So it was one of them things. And uh, other well, part of the internationals uh, come home to play for others like Daniel Duff, uh, Steve McPhail. Does that something that encourage you to do the same? Yeah, thing? definitely. Listen, it was always on the uh, radar even when I've gone back four, five, six years. You know, I was always to come back and play in Ireland. If we could have played for Rob, that was always the thing, you know. So uh, it's hard to work out. And Damien and Stephen, uh, they're now on the lower staff since they retired. Uh, is going to coaching something you're like looking at yourself? Yeah, but uh, in a in a, a few years maybe, you know, but initially it's about playing as well. When I spoke to the manager, when I spoke to Stephen, that was what I wanted to put across, you know, it's all right, yeah, the coaching side of things appeals to me, but not yet, you know. And the opening game of the season, it's on the eve of your 32nd birthday, it's a Dublin derby, that's quite an introduction to think about football for you. Yeah, definitely, so I've been to uh, Robert Bowles games over the years now, and uh, as a supporter, I was in uh, the Robert's and so it'd be nice to be out there playing. Enjoy. Thanks very much.